have empty places in, in the front row. And um, so for the general economics, The, the idea is that is, is a debate that after the section panelists, all the other panelists or delegates could intervene. For the delegates who are not in the first row, there will be two very nice hostesses and my daughter, Diletta, uh, with the um, portable microphones, uh, who will um, just uh, approach them when the chairman uh, 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 yes, give them. Uh, I hope you, we can gain uh, um, the time lost and be very brief. Um, and I will introduce these um, two chairmen uh, of the shipbuilding contract section, the present and the future, west and east contracts and field reality. Uh, they are Corrado Antonini, uh, who doesn't need uh, any presentation. He's uh, the chairman uh, of uh, the president of many things of Fincantieri, uh, but also of the Italian uh, Federation of the Sea and of uh, many other bodies. Um, Didier Chalea also, uh, he, he doesn't need much of a presentation. He's the senior vice president of Bureau um, Veritas. And um, so we will have this co-chairmanship now in the remaining section. Uh, and I wish you uh, successful work. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Lauro, for this introduction. Uh, good morning, uh, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a very sort of uh, hope, interesting session with a great number of speakers, very excellent speakers, which I think will provide uh, the audience uh, with uh, interesting presentations. My job is a very severe one because I'll have to stick to time. And since we are starting with some 20 minutes of delay, and since I think and I hope that you will be eager to have lunch at a decent time, I will be very, very severe Thanks. and I will sort of try to stick to the maximum 10 minutes which are allowed to, for any, for any uh, speaker. My co-chairman, my colleague and dear friend whom I've been knowing for so many years, Didier Chalea, will introduce the speakers uh, to his left, his and my left. I will introduce the speakers on my right. But before doing this, I wanted to say just very, very few words uh, to set uh, the scene. Uh, as uh, everybody, I, I, I am a shipbuilder, as you heard, uh, which is my sort of basic job still after some uh, 35 years around, which I, I think I am one of the so-called uh, most senior shipbuilders around the world. Uh, as you all know, after a period of uh, boom, uh, an expansion of both demand and the capacity over uh, the years, uh, which had never been experienced before, suddenly ended with the start of the uh, subprime crisis and so on, which made a real, a real uh, sort of major difference before 2008 and after 2008. Demand sort of collapsed by some uh, 80%, the moment where capacity had grown immensely. Nowadays, even if there is a slight recovery in demand, the gap between offer and demand is huge. We think that uh, the gap is some 20, 25 million CGTs, uh, which is a major, a major fact. This implies uh, that uh, competition has become much more severe. And from a legal point of view, which is the title of this session, uh, a number of clauses in the contracts, uh, such as uh, uh, such as uh, guarantee uh, uh, enforcement, uh, such as uh, uh, contract repudiation, terminations, uh, and so on, clauses which were forgotten for many years when the market was booming, have now, now become of great importance. And I think we will hear a lot about this. I stop here for this very short introduction, and I leave the floor to Didier, who's, who has some 
few minutes of presentation of this of this uh, session. Didier.